specifications that reveal its environmentally friendly engine. We are three, three hydrogen with one nitrogen to babysit it, so the NH3. And that's the, that's the trick of the fuel, is the safe hydrogen. Gordon is in the pharmaceutical business. Back in 2008, he and his team were developing ways to produce ammonia on their own. They stumbled upon green NH3, a fuel source with zero carbon emission. No nitrous oxides, no sulfurs, no nothing, because there's nothing in there to start with. With, the, with your diesel and gas, you've got sulfurs and nitrogen oxides and all these kinds of things that are pollutants. If you had a barrel of ammonia sitting there, people wouldn't be able to tell if it was made from coal or made from my machine. What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, you know, when something fresh or new or a redeveloped idea comes out in the trucking industry, we always love to share it on Mother Trucker News. And today, it's a, it's a really big one. It's one that has to do with the type of fuel that we're going to be using in our semi-trucks in the future, right? Some people are saying that definitely going electric. Other people are saying, you know, hydrogen-based. You know, there are people. Now, there is a company called Amogee that is looking at ammonia as a diesel replacement right and this isn't actually anything that is new this is actually when i googled it up i mean it has been used in you know a world war ii and it's really old school type of thinking but people are thinking that this could be the way of the future you know uh let's look into this video real quick and let me show you what i'm talking about here but you know, there's a company right now called Amogee. Check them out. Follow them as far as to see where this is going in the future. You know, I, I always like to keep up with what's going on. So uh, right here, Amogee. Right here. Amogee presents world's first ammonia-powered semi-truck. Looking this stuff up on Google. Let me show you guys. Because I don't have that much information about this. I'm learning about this as well. You know, I, I type in NH3 ammonia fuel to see what that's about. And the first thing that comes up is NH3 is a combustible gas that can be widely used in thermal power generation uh, and industrial furnaces as an alternative to gasoline and light oil. But this is the part that kind of scares me here. It says, however, it is difficult to burn and generates harmful nitrogen oxides. So, huh. You know, one question that comes to a concern for me is uh, just say a truck driver has a, a leak in their tank and is leaking out ammonia fuel. You know, is that dangerous and harmful? to people nearby you know i have a lot of questions about this definitely need to get a scientist on the show uh people have also asked it says can nh3 be used as a fuel nh3 has already been many used times as a motor fuel by yeah right here the belgians uh, during world war ii as a fuel to supplement their dwindling fuel supplies see ammonia a fuel for motor buses by the u.s army in the late 1960s as part of the mobile injury uh, energy uh, department program so they've been using this up since 1960 and before that right uh here's a good one right here it says why don't we use ammonia as fuel ammonia has been produced and utilized for the past hundred years as a fertilizer chemical raw material and refrigerant ammonia can be used as a fuel but there are several changes in ammonia combustion such as low flammability high nox emission and low radiation intensity so, you know, definitely new grounds. Uh, Got to get a scientist on the show soon. But the reason why I wanted to show you this is uh, Amogee is claiming that they are the first to drive around in a semi-truck with ammonia fuel. Mother truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? Uh, do you tinker with uh, knowing things like this? I would love to understand more of this. I'm definitely not a professional in this, but just want to share this news with you guys. Mother truckers, comment down below. But yeah, 
looks like they're making history today.